What up, YouTube? Welcome to Healing Power Divine Universe. I'm a messenger for the higher power, and God is here with me today to deliver a very important message that's going to help the sicknesses in this world heal and bring out truths and point the fingers at the people that have been victimized by people's ignorance and um, fake-ass videos and fake-ass dating sites and anything else that they have done to somebody. With that being said, I'm going to start by showing you the tarot and oracle cards I pulled for this reading that I'll move on to the channeled message. I know I said I was going to take the rest of the day off, but I have three uh, messages right now to deliver, so I'm going to get them done and get them out. So, okay, let's get started here. A man will not stop lying according to his dealer now too, so he will gloat now never again too. By the way, you stink too. Believe strange encounters. Challenging times. Potions and spells. A pinch of this, a dash of that. Be sure you're sure before you call. Healing. Somebody's mind and then also their stomach healing from maybe potions and spells. Even poison too. Acceptance. A sister is seen for a badass who is to never tell the truth according to their fake ass witch spells. By the way, you are busted again today. Yes, you too, lol. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Choose your battles. I'm led back to this again. Choose your battles. It's very important. Altar. A sacred devotion. A worship. Skin deep. Rising from the ashes. The waters you keep. Source. The higher power. Wisdom. A judge is trying to spell a woman to shut up and is not able to see the reality. She isn't a real judge at all. Laugh my fucking ass off again. Becoming braver, resilience, experience growing stronger, fresh perspective. Healing begins. Pumpkin. Uncaging the spirit within, though the fertile power you hold to taste your buttery velvet upon tongue is a gift I shall cherish each day that comes. Success. And then the last card is perception. Okay, so. So today is another sad day. As I am so ready to be able to live a halfway normal life, as I am always alone, even with my two dogs, and they too are sick of a life of nothing too. I can't seem to understand that divine timing is here, helping everyone see my truth too, as no one is to ever say the horrible things their family and fr friends always said about my brother Jake and I the most. And don't let me forget about my beautiful real mother, Cora Stagner, too. We used to all like to spend our Christmas his together, but haven't in a long time, as this journey we are all on isn't to allow us to. But I know I will n not be okay this Christmas, too, but what is it I need to learn still, too? So we're always learning something, always, even if it's very difficult. My heart is so broken as I never imagined I'd ever spend a Christmas alone, let alone two. I know that is that Judge Snyder's biggest plan as she hopes I will then run away, but I am here to stay because of all of you. At least that is what God is telling me is the fucked up plan to be. I am never to shut up again, no matter how they isolate me too. Now I am never going to claim 
I am not afraid. I'll be stuck till the end of time. But, oh God, I fucking hate the thought of that the most as I hate it in this fucked up state the most. I am never not going to want to ever come back here because I know I am not too welcome in a devil-worshipping state that is so fried they are not to ever compare me to them ever again. Now I see in a video I made a year ago about the human trafficking on the Indian reservation and I wonder if I would do it again if I would have known it would bring me to this moment. Well the answer is fuck yes as I know it meant a lot to me to speak out for those people that were buried in my family's pasture the most. I know my daughter and I seen the same graves I took pictures of that they tried to say were not real but then again I have so much proof of everything God showed me and what the fucking reality of this entire fucked up life I was meant to live to. Now, that being said, I asked my daughter to think about all the stuff we were witnessed of and please put two and two together, as I know you still think of those graves the most too. Please never lie on those fake court documents again, even if you are scared to tell the fucking truth. By the way, I wish the most I could hug you on Christmas too. Please never stop what you are doing to make your life better too, as I know you are really not too fucked up today and the next day too. I pray the most for every day, as by the way, I can smell that bitch too from here, which I know makes perfect sense to not only you, but that abused Sarah too. Please never stop fighting for her too, even if it means leaving me again for a while as I am never to allow her to touch her ever again. God bless my beautiful stepdaughter the most too. Hint, hint, big ass hint here. I love you both the most too. XOXOXO. Peace and blessings.